Hello there! Today we're going to use Affinity Photo version 2 to glitch our image. So we aiming for a cyber-like, computer-like, glitch-like look. So we will have some glitches. We kind of destroy the image in the controller manner, alright? So let's get started. Here I am in the program. There's a picture of a city here. I will duplicate this original image. So right click on the layer and duplicate that. So we still got the original image and above that I got just a copy of the same thing. On that copy I would like to use a certain filter. As you can see my colors are default. So I got black and white like by default in this program. Let's head to filters. That will be at the top filters and we want to search for something that will give us our initial texture to it all right so we want to add a half tone texture so let's search for that as you can see in colors at the very bottom there's half tone option and by default this gives us this print like circles that's not what we need in this project. We're doing a glitch. So we're going to change that. We're going to change it to lines. Okay, so change monochrome to line. And that's way better, a bit too big. So let's make those lines way smaller. We can reduce the contrast a bit as well. And it will give us this video vibe with those lines. Okay. Let's apply that. We got those lines. We can add some extra noise to it as well. So filters, noise, and just simply add noise. Be sure it's not a monochrome. We want a colorful noise. Around 70% will do, apply. And now I need to make one more copy from the original image. That's why I like to keep the original one here. So whatever I need, I can just duplicate that again. And the one that we modify already with the, those lines and noise, let's reduce opacity of that. Let's reduce opacity. Around 50% will do. And now we will generate a new layer based on what we can see right now. So right click. And then we can use the option Merge Visible. They will give us a brand new layer based on that image. And with this new pixel layer, we can do some changes. So we will make some modification by hand to make it more like glitchy. Let's use a selection tool, the rectangular marquee tool. And then you select the area and using the move tool, you stretch it a little bit. And because we got this nice texture, we got this nice texture with those lines we add by using halftone filter. You see that something is not right with this image. Something is glitching. That's exactly what we want. All right. So let's add some of those glitches here and there manually, just like that. So what I'm doing right now, I'm just selecting the area and then I'm pulling this one direction another you can be a bit random here don't need to overthink this stuff we are destroyers all right over here you can also select what you already glitch that's not a problem don't need to be too careful with this project it's very much a creative approach all right why I'm using this kind of selection to make it very technical, right? We got those straight lines. So we got vertical lines as the main texture. And now by doing those glitches, we creating this, those straight lines. That's really nice geometry here. It seems all chaotic, but there is something technical about it. All right. So we use those two tools to make even more glitches in the random manner that's nice and now we can use another filter to 
kind of bend stuff around, make it less straight. So let's head to filters and we wanna distort this. All right, if I use share option, I will have those two lines. One is vertical, one is horizontal. Don't just bend the line, click and add more points so we can make small waves, small waves of distracted signal, all right? Like in the old analog TV right now. Okay, and same here. You wanna bend those lines gently adding multiple, multiple extra nodes. All right, nice, very nice, apply. With this, I would like to add some color adjustments. So I head to HLS adjustment, default one, and I can play with this a little bit to glitch some colors. I'll move it to the right, oversaturate. All right, that's nice. But I don't want this to apply to the whole picture. So I'm going to I'm going to create a mask on this adjustment. I got a mask and now in that mask, I will put a gradient on it. Nice thing about Affinity Photo is we can see the live gradient, how it's affecting the mask. That's really nice. And this way we can mask part of it. I think I will get this color leak on this right side and mask rest of it, just like that. All right, cool. We got this nice color leak on one side, perfect. What I wanna do, I wanna also add a noise to this mask. So I click on the mask itself and I will try to add some noise to it. All right. Let's see what we got here. To do that, I will simply select all of those layers and put them into one group. So that's our glitch. Here was the original image of the city and that's our glitch version. I think it's a nice result. As you can guess, we can continue playing around, glitching this, adding more distractive filters, playing with colors, but I'm quite happy with this result. Maybe this last finishing touch will be to bump the contrast up. So let's search for the contrast and I want higher contrast. And that will be my last finishing touch in this glitch effect. Perfect. I hope you got some interesting effect as well. If this tutorial was helpful, keep in mind there's a whole playlist for Affinity Photos so you can check this next. I hope I will see you in the next lesson. Bye.